going to do uh, is uh, that we are solving uh, the composition evolution equation for the aluminum distribution. So that is first element. So thermodynamics will read the aluminum as the first element and it solves for the evolution of the composition. So if you wanted to solve zinc, so change the order. So keep in mind that. So the aluminum zinc, uh, please be consistent uh, with what it will be there in the uh, TDB file. So yesterday uh, we have shown uh, the TDB file. So these are the TDB files which is available inside. So, so if you see, so for example, you see AL uh, ZN. So follow the same syntax to avoid any con issues and then and next. So we'll start, uh, yeah, we'll do some 100 time steps and we'll smoothen. After this, uh, we will be giving the equilibrium composition, filling composition, and the gas composition for the iterative solution, uh, which we are doing inside, and the rotation matrix. So here we have seen the equilibrium temperature. Yeah, so equilibrium composition is filled at the equilibrium temperature. So all this has been described yesterday uh, in detail. But the filling is the way the, at what temperature we are going to fill. So we are going to fill at the equilibrium temperature, uh, uh, which uh, it's the same as that uh, temperature at which we are going to fill. So that's why we are using the same compositions across uh, these two columns. And uh, C guess is the guess uh, which at the, uh, the temperature at which we are solving. This will provide a guess for the iterative so, uh, iterate, iterator uh, to get the phase compositions in the soil. And then we are using rotation matrix, uh, rotation between 0 and 1 as a 45, angle, uh, 45 degrees. And then, so this uh, 3, we will represent the rotations about the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. So rotation about the z-axis is sufficient for us because it's a two-dimensional system. So now we will come to the boundary conditions. So we are going to use the no-flux no boundary conditions for all the sites for all the variables, uh, the uh, phase, uh, phase field, the chemical potential, and the composition. So anyway, we are going to do isothermal. So it's, we need not worry, but so it's by default, it is enabled to, to the other parameters. So coming to the field domain, so as we see yesterday, we'll fill cylinder. So to avoid all this, I'll uh, import the shape. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So, uh, which fills uh, at a uh, um, corner uh, zero zero with a five radius, uh, radius in the grid uh, points. Next. So the next are the specific to the model parameter, uh, uh, which is we are going to use the KKS OpenCL module over here. You can see KKS GPU OpenCL model. So the next. Here is so as we mentioned, so these are optional. So uh, the simulation type, it's uh, to uh, fasten the to take the matrix uh, uh, operations for the binary. So it is going to be binary, and we are going to be isothermal. We are using the right uh, ASCII format. So we will track progress at a 10. And so this epsilon, which is interface with uh, which correspond parameter uh, which is being used in the parameter. So I leave it at that. The function is anisotropy. So we are going to use anisotropy. And the, this is going to be fourfold anisotropy as of now. And uh, the strength of anisotropy is 0 0.1. So as I mentioned, I was mentioning previously anti-trapping parameter. So we are going to enable it. So uh, and we'll keep noise zero as such. And uh, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to introduce nice at any time step. So it's option it is zero. So this is not going to get affected. Oh. And then so as we are mentioning, so the equilibrium, uh, the temperature information over here. So equilibrium temperature is 870. It is for the system which we have provided with the composition. And the filling is uh, done at 857. And the temperature that we are looking at is at 57, which is corresponding to the 13 Kelvin under cooling. And uh, by default, so we are looking at that isothermal simulation. So the temperature gradient is uh, disabled and the shift is not required over here. So it is uh, zero. 
and as i was mentioning we are going to use opencl so opencl comes with a, a model where the platform model and the device model so platform model why it is uh, uh, you have here is you can have a platform of uh, it will it, it uh, decides the platform based on like this if you have a cpu where you have installed opencl that is one platform if you have a platform i mean if you have nvidia gpu and install with opencl that will become a different platform and if you have amd gpu and uh, with opencl that is a different platform so all this uh, comes with id 012 like that so uh, if you have only one uh, hardware as a cpu or gpu so by default it is going its id going to be zero so it is zero and also in that uh, platform if you have multiple gpus so those ids goes for example if you have two gpus uh, GP, then their IDs will be 0 and 1. So you can, if you are going to use only single GPU, if you want to use first GPU, uh, give ID 0. If you want to use second GPU, give ID 1. So it like probably in future release, we will figure out a way to fix this issue also. And so this is basically open cell uh, programming uh, aspect, uh, which we have to go around to make it generic. So we'll start run. I'm sure that may not run because I was mentioning one issue in the beginning. So it's generating the TDB files, which uh, you are talking about. So it's running fine. So we'll be very happy with that. So you can see it is gen selected a chosen platform ID as it has come and so it has taken the device here. So and it compiled the kernel code. So it ran. So the simulation has run and uh, so as usual so after this we will go to the micro sim tool uh, for the visualizing or analyzing and so here uh, where we have the initial micro structure and you can play around you can see it yeah it started going so we we did it only for 100 time step it's a small time scale so we know that it is growing and uh, so that's what i wanted to make sure so after this you can yeah save the image or yeah you can do other post processing stuff you can plot over line and whatever has been mentioned and there will be a lot of other demonstrations uh, further down about the post processing also so so we have seen that the function f2 has been uh, run successfully what we can do is uh, we can go back and uh, check with the function f3 so uh, i'll go to the home of the micro sim gi for the interface for the file generator what we will go we'll go back uh, uh, yeah sorry uh, we'll change the material parameter and diffusion sorry functional properties yeah we'll just change it to three so for this, uh, we are the difference between one and two is uh, as a user input, uh, it's only the key you have to change. Uh, uh, it, the solver will read the same TDB file uh, for the same phases and it will generate the, the curve. It will calculate the curvatures and it will take uh, those values into the solver and uh, use the function F3 algorithm uh, to run the simulations. So basically, it's only the one key change, so which we had made. So then we'll go directly jump to model which we are going to use, and uh, we'll jump to the KKS OpenCL. We'll go. So all other are same. You can see in the model page, and we'll go to next. So we will make uh, the second input file for the day. So uh, you can give the name of your choice. So I'm going to generate them. Uh, so the input files are uh, generated successfully watch out for any error message over here if you if something goes wrong it will print over here or in the bottom so watch out for it and i'm going to keep the results to output two so i am going to run so the process is similar so it is going to read the tdb file and yeah, uh, yeah. and then yeah, so OpenCell is a runtime compilation. So this is the waiting which happening is for the device uh, compilation. 
so it has run and then as usual we will go to the in the previous one. yeah so here what happened he, here we didn't clear the screen when we are going back so let's clear and go back and check this results so it started yeah so yeah, it is same yeah, it's playing same so for example you yeah, have to make sure what we are uh, doing here so we will locate uh, the image we'll save this image so images so I, I would like to demonstrate what was happening so i'll choose that uh, sorry i located so i'm converting this images see you see it generated with the output two underscore the image so it has taken the output files of the second run so that's what i would like to uh, highlight so because we have come from that uh, run so we'll go to The images, so yeah, the image is over here. So yeah, yeah, the workflow is good. So we can clear the screen. So for this session and go back. And uh, so what we would like to do is change it to function four. Yeah, we'll make it four. So we know so uh, that function four uh, takes the input uh, in the form of a CSV file uh, for which the data is generated from the encrypted databases and we know the uh, FCC liquid are here and we have to look into for these files instead as we are mentioning so we need the TDB encrypted folder in which so I have other uh, CSV files but you can see here the CSV for the composition and so the CSP Hessian matrix for FCC and Hessian matrix for liquid. So these uh, three files are required. So you can we'll make sure that uh, these files are uh, contain the data. So yeah, they have the data. So and uh, so if you open it, uh, text file. Uh, yeah, all, uh, all the files are looking good. Yes. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, and the names are consistent uh, with the D2G in the Hessian for the liquid air. So, yeah, here for this is for FCC. So, this is our convention when we are writing the first line. So, but yeah, uh, files are good. So, that means we should be able to run the simulation without any issue. So, oh, yeah, I am going directly to the end. So, uh, this is the third input time filling file using so i'll generate it yes okay i'll name the output three run so, so yeah this is uh, one workflow which will be uh, discarded uh, uh, the come uh, come reading the gs uh, tdb file for function four yeah that will be taken care of in the future yeah, so it is compiling and uh, yeah, it has run. So yeah, we'll go to microsim tool and uh, yeah, zero file is loaded automatically for us. Yeah, it's growing. So let's uh, save one file uh, to make sure whether what, yeah, whether we'll, I'm giving the same location, I'm converting. Yeah, it is saving output 3. So, yeah, workflow is good. You can see. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah yes. yes, third one is generated. Yeah, things looking good. That's good. And uh, yeah, see, for the you, what I would like to highlight is for the user, yeah, you need not to worry whether you want to use GPU or CPU or HP, whatever. So, maybe. Everything is same, so uh, the all the problems, uh, the issue of uh, GPU implementation, everything is uh, taken care inside the micro -SIM. So uh, I would like to highlight such a user friendly environment you are going to get uh, through this platform. So this is what we had uh, done. So what uh, one more thing I would like to highlight is so when you want to run uh, these simulations on the clusters, 
HPC machines available at your place. So how do you do? Uh, because normally these high HPC machines, they won't provide the, this uh, uh, GA uh, uh, for the, uh, GA is into X11. Normally they don't provide the X11 services which will be required for the GA. So you have to interact with the terminal. What we will do? The workflow will be you generate the in file. So we are generating in file one, in file two, right? So these you will generate on your local machine and copy these in files along with the necessary like a TDP file or CSV to the cluster and run it there. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So for which I will be connecting into a local uh, cluster which is available here. And uh, uh, the, so let's uh, start again. So I will generate uh, uh, one more in file. So let's start uh, from the beginning uh, where yeah, we will do it two and then So I will give the input file name for and the filling file name for I'll generate over here. Yes. Yeah, the input filling file and input and the filling file are generated. So if you have the local installations for the, uh, each hardware which you're going to use, you can make a test run over here like how we did. So to make sure that yeah, your input file and parameters are correct. Uh, you can do a test run how we are doing and then after this uh, we'll close the this session i mean the ga one thing you can do is so the advantage over here you can copy one solver uh, to the hpc system or you can copy entire micro sim so for the sake of completeness i will copy the entire micro sim package uh, to the remote machine which i am going to use So before that, I'll connect it to that and so the resource information can be according to your local so SSH and to your machine with your username. So I'll make a directory for the workshop demonstration workshop demo. So we'll copy things over. Sorry. Sorry for the spelling mistake. So, so we'll copy into here and then run. So it's it's in a home directory, so that should not become an issue. So I'm copying the entire micro sim to the workshop demo. I where I have generated the input file over here. So the workflow will be like this. So if you are making a, a modifications a major where you have to uh, give the thermal information and number of cases, depending upon the hardware uh, your module you are using, certain uh, modification you have to do locally and send, certain you can do remotely. So most of the resources nowadays, uh, if you have Python on the remote system, I think if you do any modifications, on the remote system, it should work out. If you don't have Python, so the Python dependencies which we are using the, the GA, that can be done over here, local machine and copy it. So that's what uh, uh, one thing you keep in mind uh, when you're uh, uh, moving things across uh, uh, clusters and the local machines. So we have the micro sim here. And uh, so I'll go to KKS open share. So yeah, as I mentioned, you can copy only one solver and do. So that's a flexibility you can have with this kind of open source resource system. And uh, let's see, sorry. Yeah, I have input uh, four dot in, uh, filling four dot in. Yeah, so it, uh, so normally these comes with uh, job schedulers. Uh, uh, actually, I should have shown, shown one more uh, intermediate step how do you interface how do you run it in terminal and local mission then i should have moved but uh, this uh, environment will provide uh, both the uh, information so normally these uh, uh, clusters uh, comes with a 
a job scheduler where you submit the job. So you need the job script. So I have one in local. So I will uh, copy here. Uh, uh, I know it is in. So I will go back instead of this. I know it is in this, for example. Uh, So, yeah, this you can get. Yeah. So, if you see the script, so I had something previously, so just I'll comment out. So, similarly, so if you run uh, uh, the macro sim in terminal mode, normally what you will do is the executable name. So, the art is going to be macro sim underscore check is open share and the in file name input 4.in and the filling file and the output name output 4 will so so yeah the GI will take care of all these things but if you are doing through terminal so this uh, has to be done so I'm keeping a make uh, to make sure that everything falls in line any changes we made that but ideally you don't need to make uh, for this because the solver is ready and the executable is ready for us and uh, so this is slum so it takes uh, uh, it is a small file output 4 yeah it is there so there are a lot of other uh, uh, results are there which we are using throughout the day output output one output two so we'll organize them and uh, yeah we can organize them accordingly so one thing i would like to do is input four we'll increase the size we will make it around 400 uh, we'll make it thousand so uh, so we'll make it thousand. We'll submit this job and we'll do some other uh, uh, demonstrations on the local machine. And after that, we will come for this result. Oh, okay. We we'll give a thousand by thousand, and we will give oh, five lakh ten steps. Yeah, this is going to be a bigger one. So we will save it ten thousand. Any modifications we need. Uh, yeah, so I'll we know that the system is running good. I'll give the track file bigger, track progress bigger, so that our uh, the log file won't be logged with all the information. So we know that it's uh, running. So it is very essential when we are doing uh, the initial simulations. So so this information has been done. So 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 I'll move this to input file. Which I should have moved this to input file five dot in. So I'll move to input file. I'll move copy the filling also just for the consistency and for to track. Uh, in the demo. Yeah. So now you can see we have input five dot in filling file dot in and we'll make changes in our script file accordingly file and filling file yeah and output file okay. so there are two test cases uh, uh, 1220 one, so they are completed yeah but yeah you can organize based on your comfort i mean you are according to your file managing and, uh, so I'll submit. So it's submitted as one two 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 SQ. I'm seeing. Yeah. Uh, so one two 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 job ID. I submitted uh, with KK Sopencell. Yeah. It, uh, it is going in. It is using one GPU. Uh, so yeah. Let it run. And uh, we'll log out. Yeah. Let the session be there for the GPU. Normally it will log out automatically. We'll go to the GA and uh, see if any other demonstrations are available. Oh, okay, and 
I'll open the and the in Python script which opens the GA module. So we'll import the new file and I uh, would like to use this PPT. So the precipitation evolution, like different, uh, uh, what we have seen yesterday, how there uh, some will grow, some will uh, shrink, and uh, those things we will just uh, see you through. So the same information, the stabilization information. And the phases, the number of phases two, and the phase names we have alpha, beta we will keep. It's no more liquid. So, precipitation matrix and precipitation we are talking solid state. Save and uh, change components. Yeah, aluminum zinc. Yeah, uh, we are following the standard names. And then next, so time steps 20,000 we will run. Let's see, this will be 10. We will save it at each 100. Number of workers we will keep one. And next, so the diffusivity, yeah, let's uh, whatever we have. Beta, we have both equal values for matrix and precipitate, precipitate and the same interfacial energy and the R. And then functional property, we will use uh, function 3 for this uh, because as yeah, uh, the function 2, function 3, Function four. I was we were yesterday. Uh, Professor Abiki was mentioning the function two uses some iterative solvers, uh, which uh, which they are uh, done through the GSL. So the GSL on GPU is not available. We have to write our own iterator. Sometimes it uh, may be inefficient. Yeah, we can make uh, work out that iterator, but you have to provide the all the input parameters, including the gas, appropriately a grid size, a smaller grid size, a smaller time step, so that your iterate uh, won't uh, diverge from the solution. But uh, to avoid that, the function three, which uses uh, the expressions directly, so we'll stay in the expressions here, and uh, function three and the thermodynamic phases two. Here it is HCP is evolving from HCP. Uh, as Professor Abiki was mentioning from the phase diagram, it's the same input file we are using. From the aluminum uh, zinc TDB, uh, we are getting this phase information. Phase composition properties, so we are going to use uh, this. So this is going to be optional because we are going to see only isotropic evolution. So you can delete it. If even if it's there, it is not going to take it. So. So the extra parameters, if it is available, the solver won't read. Uh, so there's advantage, so you need not worry about that much. So next is boundary condition. So I'll use a periodic boundary conditions. I'll mark for all and for all the fields. And yeah, mu same, composition same, same. So for everything, it is uh, the periodic boundary condition. I'll go next. So here is, I can add, the import shape actually so i have generated the the filling random so we are going to use a random precipitate so which fills uh, for the phase zero uh, with the diameter um, so radius eight and uh, this is a uh, uh, fraction and this is the shield distance the three and uh, this is the tolerance so i have given these values so I think uh, let, let's uh, do something. Yeah, okay, let's generate it, what it is going to do. And then next, yeah, we are into the model from the OpenCL. So it's a binary ASCII, right from this 50, yeah. Next, the epsilon will keep. Yeah, okay, let it be there, in that too, and the whatever the value there, it is good enough. So function isotropy, as I told, we are doing only isotropic evolution, so zero. So these uh, values are not uh, taken care. We are doing solid, stall, solid, solid state uh, transformation, so the anti-trapping will make it zero. And the noise start is in, uh, in material. And the uh, equilibrium temperature, as Professor is mentioning yesterday, it's a 500 and which we are cooling to 450. And uh, there is no shift and uh, 
yeah this is the platform and the device i'm going to use next so this is going to be sixth file for for demo so let's give us six generate i will generate over here and output six will run so yeah it is reading the tdb and then compilation and the solution will follow let's wait for some time i think we have given around 200 right the grid size if i remember it may be a little slightly bigger for this uh, laptop so so this actually printing the scheme but yeah it's running so fast we are not able to save it can see the glances yeah you can see yeah it's going smooth we are not getting any numbers which are random or so it's printing for the, the face field and the mu so let's wait for the finish. so we have given 20,000 so it's completed uh, 10,000 let's wait for this So, uh, yes, it's completed. As usual, uh, we'll go to the Microsoft tool. Yes, yeah, it's good. so we have the split, uh, the random distribution. We play the mode. Yes, sir. Uh, I agree. It's good. The yeah, periodic boundary is also applied and uh, Looking good. So this is a kind of odd shape because it is getting influence from this side. So you may see this little deviating circular shape. Yeah. So it's good. Yeah. 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 This is the final input. Uh, what we have got. Uh, that uh, we can do some post processing. Uh, like average plus spread size probably. Uh, this mainly demonstrated in the next session. Yeah processors also that so but you can use all the area uh, respect size respect count all those things so i will leave it to the next session we will be looking at the dendrite shape which is becoming so and then uh, we clear the session and go back so what uh, uh, we have done so meanwhile so we have submitted one job in the cluster right so let's see what is status so it has run for nine minutes so, so what is happening in this Oh, it ran up to 180,000. So let's see. So nine minutes means almost two. So on some nine more, ten more minutes is required. Uh, so meanwhile, what below? Just I'll. If you want to run locally through a terminal, uh, what you can do is as a. If you get uh, familiar with uh, this process, or you want to use the file, so directly one thing you can do. So if you are comfortable. You can, if you, you need not load the GUI at all, um, go to the, I mean, go to any place or where you can exit. For other solvers, you can access the uh, executable from anywhere. But uh, my solver, I will be here. So I will open my input file 6. So you can start editing this. And uh, so I will save it as input file 7. So and so yeah i won't change anything so let's uh, run as this uh, this file so for which i'll open the filling is also 
So let's make uh, killing seven five seven nice. Killing seven. So yeah. So let's run uh, these two. So get your terminal. So so yeah, you can make. But uh, or if you make once, uh, you don't need. So we didn't make in this folder. But yeah. You can use the make file and input microsim. It takes the three input arguments. Input seven, what we made, the filling, the seventh one, and uh, the output seven. Left. Yeah, so it is ready. In a similar uh, prompt, which uh, uh, output uh, was there in the terminal, so it will come the similar. So. Running. So, so you can use uh, if you independently para view to do other post processing stuff, but you can use other case if you want. I mean, you can do once you access the data, you can do a lot of stuff on that analysis along with our microsync tool. So if you run one, I would like to highlight is uh, when you run uh, this uh, GPU specific solvers, you need the GPU available and the uh, corresponding drivers are the, uh, the SDK are installed. So if you uh, don't have, they will throw error uh, that uh, the resources are not available. So make sure that uh, uh, the CUDA or OpenShell is available. So we know we'll migrate to our data folder where it generated the output seven. So you can use para view and uh, open the output seven apply. Yeah, we got the same because it's same input file and yeah. So yeah, basically we can see the evolution and then What is happening? 200 files are there slowly. Scrolling. Yeah, you can see this is started getting the influence from these test states. Yeah, you can see the new, which may not be appealing, but the composition you can see distribution. And so, so these similar things you can do it in the microsim tool also. And uh, So with, uh, in between, actually, any user, uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, raise them uh, meanwhile. So probably I think uh, with this, we can stop the demonstrations. Uh, sorry? Yeah, cluster? Yeah, that's true. Uh, there was my type. Yeah. So it is running to like, uh, to, but yeah, I'll copy those files. So. We'll copy this uh, information. So I'll copy with this in up to here. So what I'll do, I'll copy to the new folder. Uh, I'll make one new folder for myself. Cluster runs. Cluster runs. Cluster. Or else you can keep the same microsim over here and there and you can do our sync so that uh, every time it is updated. Yeah, that's a user choice. Yeah, files are being copied. So I will go to so, Yeah, always carry the input file along with your data so that uh, you don't lose the track of what you are doing. So that is the best option. So yeah, we got, yeah, it was a input file pi with the output file. So we got a trailer. We'll use para view 
and uh, output file yeah you can see sorry yeah the input file is small um, our domain size is bigger unlike the demonstrations where the domain size is smaller so you can see yeah yeah every time make sure you cross check your uh, zeroth file so that you are not doing any mistake during the filling also so it is there uh, let's It is slowly loading. Yeah, it's a thousand by thousand system. Yeah, the growth is happening. Let's see. I'll say like, okay, it's almost a game half. So let it uh, go. So. Yeah, uh, the dendrite has evolved, so you can check the view. So it may not, yeah, and this will be the view across each place. It's a composition distribution, so uh, you can use the line plot uh, along this. Uh, you can change the direction over here, so if you want a different direction. Yeah, here it shows the, all the plots. You can edit, uh, I'll remove, so this uh, view is very high value. So we will see individual ones so first we will see the solid uh, hcc one yeah it is there nest profile and the composition profile over here so you can see uh, the solid boundary layer which is going around across the interface so and you can uh, do your yeah, post processing of your choice so you can see but all this information also you can get in the matrix simple so that's what I would like to uh, yeah, demonstrate. So yeah, we have seen the function two, function three, function four, and the GPU implementation. So but as a user, your interaction with the software won't change. You need not to provide. You just provide only the material parameters and the numerical parameters. So everything is taken care inside the package. So that's the advantage we are going to get uh, with uh, this micro sync. And, uh, with this, I would like to stop uh, my demonstration. So we have around 15 minutes. We can take the detailed uh, Q&A, which is available. So with that, uh, I would like to thank you and uh, yeah, though I kept uh, only my immediate uh, collaborators over here, I mean, uh, Professor Guraj and Professor Ganangam and Fani Kumar, but it's a part of all microsim group, uh, which I would like to mention. So, thank you. Any Q&A is coming? Okay, we'll just wait for any, if some students uh, will come up with a question lately, and we'll wait for five minutes and then. Yeah, it's recording. I can see here, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Later, we'll tell you. At the end.
ఏంటి Yeah, 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 you can give a try and question. So at the end, uh, we'll take the questions corresponding to all the solvers all, uh, for the entire uh, micro sim. It uh, may not be the specific case. So uh, respected in all aspects. So uh, the question and uh, the answer session will be. Okay. So, uh,